right, welcome back to Slingshot Disc Golf. Happy holidays, slingshots for everybody. This is Preston, and he is the December mystery box winner out of all my patrons, so congrats to him. Let's get right into why. We started working together on literally August 8th, 2022. Here's his first form. Like many other players, he was stuck at 350. Although 350 is not bad. That's still pretty far. Preston has gained 100 controlled feet. It's a lot smoother for him now. He's pushing 500 for a max distance from time to time when he hits all the timing right. Snap. Let's talk about what has changed in the last four months. He's had access to my basic training programs and some random Patreon content, but he hasn't even signed up for my more advanced drills. So it's pretty incredible what he's been able to do on his own. On the left, it's front leg disc golf. Rotating completely on the front leg, using the hips. Back leg is an anchor that slips. Left arm, left side's an anchor. Power pocket player, the power pocket is not a part of the slingshot. With the power pocket, there's no rotation, the arm leads. With the rubber band effect, the whole body is rotated by the time that arm hits 90. This is back leg disc golf over here. He's driving with his whole offside. Boom. In front leg disc golf, the player braces against their front foot and then rotates on top of it. In back leg disc golf, the rotation has already happened, and then the foot releases. In front leg disc golf, the rotation is completely on top of the leg. And that's why it looks very unbalanced and very unnatural. He looks way more athletic here, to put it simply. He has totally transformed his form. More importantly, he's bought into back leg disc golf. But the most important thing that he has bought into is he can throw like Macbeth. He can throw like Gibson as long as he does not settle until it looks right. Now, it's never going to look as perfect as those guys because they're one of one each, two of one. You know what I'm saying? One of two, two of... Mm. This is just four months. If he continues to not settle, he's going to get completely where he wants to be. That looks pretty good. It looks pretty similar. That's a pro position, pro position. But we're not settling here. So let's take a look at the main differences still to go because I know he's not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. So the rule of timing is getting this foot down before full extension. Gibson's foot is down. His arm is not fully extended. Now it's fully extended. Foot's been on the ground for a while. This keeps you from opening the hips and opening the leg. And that timing is what truly creates the full slingshot. Preston is extending a fraction of a millisecond too early. His full extension has happened, and his foot is just not quite on the ground yet. And because of that, he's going to open his hip a little, going to open the leg a little here. Very close, but ultimately, his arm ends up hanging in the air for a fraction of a second too long. When you extend too early, it takes away the stretch reflex through the back and the whole timing of the slingshot. Preston has to continue to work on delaying the extension. If you look to the right here, Drew's arm is still not fully extended, and that foot's already touching. That foot's been on the ground for a little while, still not fully extended. Now it's fully extended. This rule of timing is by far the hardest part of all of this, and it's usually the final piece of the puzzle. I'm just super proud of this guy. He grinds all day long. He never misses live streams. He gets coaching all the time, and he's doing it. He's putting it together, and he is not going to settle because you can throw like Drew Gibson if you want. That might be the one.